like the dynamic acceleration on the drive. You can really tell that you guys are accelerating on it. A lot of mature rowing, a lot of run. You can see, like, I'm amazed by your bow today. Especially in the first piece. I know we're getting tired. This is our third piece today. But there was no up and down with the bow. There was no stop or check. It was really consistent, not killing any of the boat speed every stroke. It was really good uh, bow work. You can see maybe a little bounce now, but again, we're a little more tired, so we're crashing into the catch a little more. We've probably got a little more weight at the, of the bodies, like collapsing at the catch and the finish. So you just want to stay light and tall, like we're floating above the water, not letting the boat get heavier at the catch or the finish to maintain the speed. Alright Alex, a little bit of like a hunch with the shoulders. So you think chest out, shoulder blades squeeze together, C-curve in the lower back. That'll protect your lower back as you initiate the leg drive. It'll generate, generate more power. So chest open, shoulder blades squeeze together, lead with the chest. When I say lead with the uh, rib cage open, I mean the opposite of this sort of cat cow. Right now you've got sort of a cat spine. You want to keep that cow spine to carry the heavy load. So good job with legs first. Yeah, good effort all day. Yeah, good job leading. Deborah, I think you're perfect. You're on and off the water. Solid, making sure we're holding on to our finish as long as possible by pulling in high, accelerating through, not feeling like you're slowing down as you're finishing at your body. I want you to go through your body. So accelerate all the way through the finish, but good posture, good sequencing, leg swing, leg swing, yeah, yeah, focus. You're setting up tall, you're able to keep the connection because your hips and shoulders are moving together. A little bit of let's keep our legs together so we can really use that outside quad meat, the bigger quads, the third muscle. Yeah, I can see it popping. I know you're doing work. You can see your quads. Make sure you keep the legs together so you can drive the hips back first, and that'll give you time and power for a more dynamic body opening. So, knees together, drive the hips back first, then swing. Good, so good effort. Just relax. Allison, uh, Rachel, kind of relaxing the face, not using uh, shoulders or face muscles, not wasting any energy there. Catherine also likes super solid, super solid bend in the blade. That means you're connected. It means you're really adding to the power every stroke. Same thing does with bend to the blade. Janet, you can see that bend to your blade about halfway through the slide. So making sure you feel that heavy connection right out of the catch. So as your blade gets in a little earlier, it's heavy, it's locked in, it's on the recovery to get the blade in. So then when you initiate the drive, you can have that bend in the oar shaft right from the get-go. Carla, good, staying solid. Making sure we're not pulling with our, uh, making sure as we initiate the leg drive, the pull happens with our lats. So we're bringing the handle with the body. We're bringing the handle to the finish with our left. Make sure you keep that heavy connection in the outside arm, outside left. Just good solid work, staying on it. Prepared. It's great up early. I haven't seen it most of the day today, Janet, but right now it looks like your inside shoulder might be a little, it's at least parallel to your outside shoulder. So making sure you stay leaning into your rigor, relax the inside shoulder, so the outside shoulder is up, not reaching for more with the outside arm at the catch. Pulling in high, making sure your outside hand is all the way hitting your sports bra line at the finish. Right now it looks like you're finishing maybe a little bit low. Margie looking fucking solid as always, piecing it out. Just good solid right there. Again, same with I commented on Deb. Really, you can tell you're bringing your hips and shoulders together. That means you're really adding the right speed to the boat, not wasting any energy. We're just going 
going through the motions. You're really contributing to the team. You can tell by the way you pull that 45 degree angle with your hips. Your shoulders stay forward as you drive the leg. Amazing. Very just like real solid work. Making sure a little more C curve in the back. You're not totally in a cat spine position, but it is like a little horizontal. So making sure you pop the hips back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lead with the chest so you can breathe. Yeah, full compression. It definitely looks like you're not getting into full compression there. Stay right and march. We just want to make sure we're squeezing all the way forward. 